Yo, you're, you're working at the Renfest? That's insane. That's really cool. Hope you have a great time working there. I know it might be a little hectic, but I love going to the Renfest. Have you guys ever gone to the Renfest before? The Renaissance Festival? There's not one in my state, but I have to I have to travel a bit to go to one. But whenever I go to one with my friends, it's always a great time. For the people that don't know what the Renfest is, basically it's a it's a festival where uh it's like ye old days. You have like medieval stuff, you eat food with your fingers, you have like turkey legs and uh you have uh, they have cool outfits that you can wear. It's a, it's a great time, honestly. So medieval times at outside, pretty much, except with more passion, I'd say, if that makes sense. Mm. They have jousting, archery, black. Yeah, I normally really really like the archery stuff. Um, just because I used to do archery with my dad, and it's. Granted, the, the place that I go to doesn't really have the best quality, like, uh, bows and arrows, but it's always a great time, because me and my friends, we make it into a drinking game. I don't drink, so it's kind of a win-win for me. I get to play, I get to play, uh, I get to play archery, and, you know, they drink, and, you know. <laughs> the vendors with their crafts with their favorite... Yeah! I... I think the last time I went to Renfest was before I got into Hollow. So I wasn't really the most, I wasn't really the best place financially. Um, I was living like paycheck to paycheck. So I wasn't really able to take advantage of the cool crafts that they make at those Renaissance festivals. But maybe this year, maybe this year I'll, I'll go and maybe I'll buy something cool. But I remember this one year, my family went. I think it was the only year that my family went. And me and my brother, we got these wooden swords. And I think mine looked like the master sword, but not quite, right? Not quite. It was like a simple wooden sword, but it had a blue handle, a light blue handle. And it looked like the master sword. And me and my brother were playing with it, but then he sat on my sword because it was on the bed. It was on our bunk bed. And he broke my one sword that I got from the Renfest and I was so sad because I was such a young kid and it was like my one souvenir from the Renfest and I was so sad. So anyways, that's why I'm, um, that's why I want to kill my brother and avenge my, the, uh, the Regis clan. All because of that one faithful day. Animation, thank you for the seven months. This is so sad, Alexa, play Unravel. Renfest. Maybe one day. <laughs> one of my friends, he, he works at the Renfest pretty often. And I think last time he was at the turkey stand. Because they give you just like a, a leg of turkey. And it's it's kind of like a messy eat. But that's part of the fun, right? That's part of the fun. When you go to medieval times, I'm pretty sure they don't give you, you um, utensils. It kind of adds to your immersion. A girl of adventures blending into the Renfest. They don't know that we're actually adventurers. They don't know that we're VTubers. That's me everywhere I go. <laughs> they do give us Pepsi, that's true. So maybe my immersion's a little bit broken, but they gave me utensils at medieval times because I got the vegetarian plate and it was all rice. But what if? What if you just like became Kirby and just like inhaled like 
all the food. I'm just saying it's kind of an alpha move. Just a suggestion. <laughs> no hand shovels here. <laughs> yeah, no hand shovels. No hand shovels. Pepsi was a staple of medieval culture. Oh my gosh. Ye old goonie, ye old goonie miner. That, that's a uh, Yogg's cast. Ye old Pepsi. Arg. Sir Pepsi is the first. The Duke of the Pepsi Kingdom. I can't relate because Indonesians eat with their hands. And you know what? That's based. That's based. Quite honestly, I would say that eating with your hands, it's kind of fun. You know, like, sure, we eat a lot of stuff with utensils, but eating stuff with your hands is pretty fun. I quite enjoy it. Maybe it's that... Hmm. Ooh. Uber, why are you sending me a notification? Don't miss the music. Get to the festival in style. No, I don't go to music festivals. Screw you, e Uber. Uber thinking that I'm going... I'm, I'm social. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Also, a lot of Mexican food is traditionally eaten with your hands. Fair. Fair. I don't know, it just... I, I mean, you have your hands for a reason, right? Like, why do we have to limit ourselves? Why can't we just become the next level of human? Just eat with our hands. Just a suggestion, but I'm just saying, it's pretty fun. Become friends with someone who eats soup with their hands. Rare friend. <gasps> That's based. But let me give you another base suggestion. Eating soup with your chopsticks. Now hear me out. Hear me out. You dip your chopsticks. It has to be wooden chopsticks. You dip it in. It absorbs the soup and you suck the soup out of your chopstick and you slowly but surely eat the into- Oh my god, that's a great stream idea. That's a great stream idea. Eating soup with the chopsticks. Endurance stream. That could be fun. You know how like Mr. Beast Listened to It's Every Day Bro for 10 hours straight. Oh, I'm gonna be the next Mr. Beast. Except this time it's only food. So then I become Mr. Feast. Nah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, that's a pretty bad idea. Never mind. We'll prove that we're good to go.